Thank you, Stacey. Today, Yadkin County students and parents were welcome back to school with an open house as they prepare to start in person learning tomorrow. Yeah, summer's just about over. Colette Stein spoke with the Yadkin County Schools Executive Director of Student Support Services to find out what they're doing to make everything as safe and as effective for everyone. After following a hybrid learning model last school year, Yadkin County Schools are welcoming all students back for in-person learning. Yadkin County Schools Executive Director of Student Support Services, Christy Gaddis, tells us that out of approximately 5,500 students, 70 students will be fully remote. We are very much watching our data, our raw data, um, these first four and a half weeks of school because we are very open to making decisions based off whatever our needs of our students is at that time because we want our kids in our school buildings. Masks will be optional, but good hygiene and self-awareness will be highly encouraged. We do educate and, and require them if they do have a fever to not you know, contact us and we'll work, work with them and decide what, what needs to be done at that point in time. Gaddis says the school district is excited to welcome their students back. They do realize some students may struggle after not being in a traditional learning environment this past year. We know that there has been some fallout social emotionally from the pandemic and we have got like some screeners that we've put in place that we know so that we'll be able to early identify students early what they need have needs in social emotional learning. Overall, Gaddis says while having students back in a traditional learning environment is ideal, student health and safety will determine the future. If we have to, based off the data, if we have to put mask mandate in place, then I, that is something that we will look at if we need be. In Yadkinville, Colette Stein, WXII, 12 News.